Uma das grandes bandas norte-americanas dos anos 70, o Grand Funk Railroad, praticava uma mistura irretocável de hard rock com soul music e tempero pop que fez dos caras grandes vendedores de discos. A alma e o coração do grupo, o vocalista e guitarrista Mark Farner, estreou em palcos brasileiros no início deste mês para ótimos shows em Porto Alegre, São Paulo e Belo Horizonte. A nossa equipe aproveitou a passagem do cara pela capital mineira para bater um papo com ele. É o que você confere agora com exclusividade aqui no Alto Falante. And the station in Flint, Michigan, that I listened to was uh, Wham, or W-A-M-M. It was a, uh, you know, soul, uh, blues, uh, more black music, uh, because this is, I felt the feeling, you know, people singing, and I wanted to, with my voice, I wanted to sing with the feeling, you know. used to do uh, little small festivals with, you know, uh, the, the Amboy Dukes yeah. and the MC5 and um, Iggy Pop, you know. It was Iggy and the Stooges back then yeah. um, and the uh, Rationals, all like local around Detroit, Flint, Ann Arbor, the center of the earth for music. And that's why they backed us up. Plus the powerful sound. We played uh, 180,000 people in Atlanta, Georgia, and they, yeah, you know, it was like, and we never saw a crowd bigger than maybe 100 people before that. <laughs> In the, all of the early records, I started writing, uh, like when Grand Funk started, I only wrote one song before we formed, and that was Heartbreaker. And I wrote that when I was 18 years old, you know? A classic. Thank you. But the music consists of a young man, 20 years old, who flew in an airplane for the first time. You know, I saw things uh, with my eyes. I wanted to tell my brothers and sisters, you know, and, and this came from my heart. And you can't hide that. It's on the record. My heart is in the songs. And the people who identify with those songs identify from that point in their heart. It's the same, you know, we are crying out in this world. What is the reason for all this? What is, you know, what are we doing here? <laughs> I think partly because Terry Knight, our first manager, yeah, yeah told the band, you don't do the interviews, I will create a mystique and everybody will want to know about the band because they can't get to you and we're going, oh, okay, you know, we're a 20 year old kid and, and, and we trusted him to be telling us the truth. In actual fact, this gave Terry Knight the perfect opportunity to brag about his abilities. <laughs> I created Grand Funk, I am the mentor, I am the, you know, all the bullshit. 
Excuse my French. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my baby, she's all right. So my baby, clean out of sight. Don't you know that she's, she's some kind of wonderful. Yes, she is. She. She's some kind of wonderful. You know that she is. She. She's some kind of wonderful. Hey, 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 hey. Well, it was, you know, the first time we had uh, production that, like, for Todd Rundgren, yeah. that was uh, somebody who was already um, known, someone yeah. who, a singer, guitar player, producer. Uh, yeah, producer, they could relate to us. And uh, when he came out to Michigan, we got along so good, and, you know, we partied, we played, and, you know, it was like uh, his. His sound that he got was different than any other album before, because Terry Knight did all of the yeah. early stuff, yeah. and then uh, Grand Funk produced Phoenix, and, and then after that, American Band yeah. with Todd Rundgren, it was like, whoosh, turn the page. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love this country. Even just before I come, many Brazilians come to the United States and, and would tell me at concerts, you need to come to Brazil because the Brazilian people love you down there. We want you. And I was thinking, man, someday I hope I can get there. And here I am. I am so excited. And the audiences have been so great and the, so much love. See, in the records, I put the love out. And when I come to Brazil, the love is coming back to me. I'm in love with a girl that I'm happy to live out. I'm in love with a girl that I can't live without. I'm in love, but I sure get to bed time. Memories, the best memories. Yeah, they're just, you know, with the friends that I made, the, the people in my life, like Janice Joplin. She became friends, we became friends, we hung out together, you know, uh, doing the pop festivals, doing, uh, you know, things where it's just a lot of people, doing shows where there's so many people and uh, they were alive, you know, the, the music, uh, the people came to to hear the music and it was like everybody was family because we loved the music you know that's what i remember <laughs> Over the years, certain people have said, uh, you know, they was influenced by Grand Funk Railroad. Uh, Eddie uh, Van Halen, uh, he's, you know, he loves the band. Prince, uh, you know, different kind of different music, but they still influenced, you know, by Grand Funk Railroad. And I'm sure there's people that haven't admitted it, <laughs> but but they've been influenced. And uh, I'm just proud to be a part of the musical history you know, and to have written a song like I'm Your Captain that remains uh, active in people's hearts and still playing and, and, and the soldiers love this song. The uh, uh, Vietnam veterans, uh, it's their number one song and they asked me to come to Washington DC for the 25th anniversary of the wall, Vietnam wall. Great. And uh, I went in my band and we played a, a free show for them and uh, they cried. It was so emotional. Uh, this is this is who I am, and and I will continue on this path until I suck my last breath. 